Hey y'all. So I feel like doing some airbrushing tonight, which means I am going to do a flip and drag on this 11 by 14 oval. And I'm going to have you guys join me. Not live, but you're still going to be joining me because you'll watch the video. I'm really, um, I'm really loving the design of doing some airbrushing, especially on the ovals, um, because I like to have it wider at one end and then take it down and have it thinner, ideally. Um, just because I like that, though, doesn't mean that's what's going to happen. But um, The colors I am going to use today, I will just, I'm going to say this once only, so please pay attention. Um, I actually mixed these yesterday and they all have one only one drop of silicone in them. This is Soho Dioxazine Violet. This one is Folk Art and this is called Summer Peach. It almost looks like an or a peachish orange. But that's by Folk Art. Again, one drop of silicone, so I'm kind of remixing it because um, a great trick that I do, um, and I'll show you like on a cut that's not opened. If you get this cling wrap, I think it's made by Saran Wrap, and it's called cling wrap. Um, you can pre-mix your paints you want to use. And I even with the silicone, and then I just cut these little, I just cut up these little squares, right? And then I just put it over the paint until I'm ready to use it. This is um, Aqua Flash. Got to have some flash in there. And yes, I am going to use all these different colors, I think. Because I have some blues as well. Um, but yeah, definitely uh, I, I love um, the, the peel off cling wrap. It's called by Saran Wrap. Because you just peel it off and you only need a little thing to put on top. And that way if you want to pre-mix paints but you only want to mix little amounts, that's a fun way to do it. So since this is a small, you know, it's an 11 by 14 oval, I am going to use less paint than I normally would. Um, I do have two other blues, but I think I'm going to save those for another time. And I am going to put in, um, this is Liquitex Copper. I'm going to put some of this in. I want to make sure that this is, yeah, I need some water. Let me get some water in that so they're all the same consistency, and I will be right back. Hey, y'all. So we're back. Um, I just needed to get some water to make that copper the same consistency as the others, and I'm going to bring in a little more light here. Um, I am, This is only a three-ounce cup, and because I want to blow it out, I mean, I think I, I'd like it to be four ounces. But I don't really want to use a big cup. Uh, I'm going to use a big cup. I just have to do it. Alright, so I will just use a bigger cup and I will just not pour as much. So I'm just kind of putting in my WD-40 silicone spray in here. And then we will start layering. Um, and because I want to airbrush it, I do want to layer it uh, a bit here. If I don't get this blue in, I'm starting to think I don't want to use that right on this painting, but I'll probably do a, another painting after this because I just love airbrushing. I think it's great. If you haven't already, you should go to Amazon. And I have the Master... It's a $49 compressor and airbrush, and I love it. So in the bottom, I'm actually going to, you know what, I'm going to go in with this 
pinkish color, which I forgot to tell you what that was, but that is, let me see, that is Master's Touch Pink Acrylic. It's the one time I actually agree with what they said. Sometimes they name colors that look nothing like what they are, but I'm going to go in and uh, we're going to start the bottom with the pink acrylic. And then I'm going to layer on top of that. I'm going to put in the orange flash. Or it's the sunset, but it looks like it's, yeah, it's the peach, the sunset peach. It's because it's the silicone, it look, makes it look like it, it's flash, but it's not. On top of that, I'm going to go in with the dioxazine purple. Or violet, they call it by Soho. It's purple, either way. Um, then we're going to go in with our Liquitex Copper. That's still, I think, a little too thick. I'm just going to add a bit more. I don't know if you can see a bit more water than this. The others are, because they were sitting overnight, um, and I made them just their consistency is a little thinner. I just, I like to try and keep the same consistency, get better results. So depending on what you do, if you're doing something else like a balloon smash or something like that, actually having different consistencies helps create cells and all that good stuff. But that's not what we're doing. So yeah, okay, so we're back to the good consistency. And then we're gonna go back in with the pink, the George, I call it Georgia peach, they call it sunset peach, it's peach. And the Soho, uh, Docs is in purple, that's a lot of paint, I don't really need more than that amount. So I'm just going to put a drop of the copper in. And so what I'm going to do is, since I do want to airbrush it, I'm going to do a flip and drag. Pardon me while I just get the paint off my hands. So I'm going to do a flip and drag um, and then airbrush it out. And since it's the oval, like I said, I'd like it to try and be like fuller down here and then come up a little bit. So I'm going to give this just a quick little stir. And then I am going to put it right there.
I'm kind of standing behind the camera. See what we have. And tilt it up. And then I'm going to blow some of this out. So it's kind of more even. Don't be afraid, afraid to pour it off like that if you have too much paint. You might get some great skins out of it. And I'm not worried about any white here because I can I can paint that again. It's just it's just covering white. But that created some cool lines that I like. So I'm standing kind of right next to where y'all are looking again, just trying to see what we got here. See if I want to do anything different. I might go ahead and take just a few wispies out here and there. But I do like all the colors now. They're kind of like intertwined. Standing back here with y'all. Yeah, that's pretty good. It was it was too much paint. I would have preferred something a little different. But I'm going to do another airbrush um, that you probably can catch on YouTube in a few days. So go ahead and look for that one. That's going to be blues. And I just want to say thank you for supporting me and watching my channel. Um, I hope you are doing some great arting yourself right now and having a great spring. And I will catch you on the next video. Be sure to smash that like button, please. And go ahead and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I will make sure I take some pictures of this when it dries for you. Have a good one.